Friday night. Let me just make sure I'm up. Hang on one sec. How is everybody doing? Hey guys. Where I am. Okay. How's everybody doing? It has been a week. Hang on, let's change my camera setup. Hey guys, you're on Facebook. Shout out, so I know I'm on. I see me, but uh, where is, okay, three people. Oh, hey, Rose, hello. I still need to order your spool pin top and paint it white. I haven't forgotten about you. So we can get Darlene running again. <gasps> Brittany! I mean Stephanie! I mean Brittany! Hey! Congratulations on the wedding! Hey Carol from Seattle! Hey Lisa! Meadows from Arizona! Have you taken your tan machine out of the box yet? I know you said it looked fine, but I just want to make sure. <laughs> Brittany, when you did the shout out this morning, I almost said, Stephanie, I mean Brittany, <laughs> you make an easy student. <laughs> All right. I know I'm supposed to be sewing tonight, but I actually have to be drawing... Um, Diagonal half square triangle. So um, let me put the machine camera on. Hang on. There. All right. So if you're on Facebook, you'll see me. I am. Whoa. Someone is on on Facebook from the UK. Hey. Rooftop atelier. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> These um, little uh, sip and sew times that we spend together, hey Michigan, hey Judith Ann, um, have really, really brought a lot of joy to me. So just so you guys know, you chiming in and saying hey, even if it's from right down the street, it makes my heart happy. So thank you. And Mary, hi Mary from Seattle. Someday we're going to meet. We're going to walk into the same Starbucks and I'll be like, you'll be like, hey, aren't you Darlene? It's going to happen. Unless you don't go. Lisa Meadows. <laughs> Lisa, I need you to take that machine out of the box and make sure everything's good, girl. You're freaking me out. Stop making jam. So the work continues. Uh oh, am I on the right side? Don't you hate that? <laughs> Wanted to make sure I had the right side of my grunge. And I was marking my half square triangles on the back side, not the front side. So I thought it would be fun tonight. Yay. Oh, Sherry's on. Hi, Sherry. Yay. Good. Good, good. Uh, okay. This weekend, Lisa. She's opening. She Lisa was one of the lucky ducks that got one of my tan machines. And um, please, why does it look? Oh, um, the reason why it looks left-handed is because on Instagram, it flips it. Uh, it does the reverse. Uh, oh, gosh. How am I trying to say it does the mirror image, so it looks like it's left-handed. And you're looking at it from the back of the machine, but I promise it's the right, it's the not a left-handed machine. Hi, Ellen from PA. Can't remember which number of the featherweights, can't remember which number of the featherweight has no belt. Oh, it's the, actually, it's not the model number. That's actually a really good question, Ellen. So the 221s are available in black and White is also called a 221 and tan, but the white ones have the belt running up and down the neck of the machine 
all of the black ones and all of the tan ones are gear driven. So they have a belt on the external of the machine, but not on the inside of the machine. Um, so I thought it would be fun tonight because every we the last couple weeks we've been kicking around names for my tan machine. So tonight we are going to generate a list and I'm going to pick the, the name tonight for my new tan featherweight. And I don't know if Nola Bad Good Dog is going to join, but we're going to avoid the, um, the, uh, the, the, uh, what am I? The names that are a little bit, uh, not as wholesome. <laughs> the screen is so sent. This, oh. <laughs> All right. Hold on, buddy. My dog is asking to go out. My husband was supposed to come down and let him out. Let's see, Andy remembers. He just had dinner. So if you guys have dogs, you know that they eat dinner and then they need to go out. Like within five minutes. He's gonna start barking. I'll bet you guys five dollars. Dad's coming, hold on. All right, get this guy threaded. So the work continues on my Tula Pink quilt. I am not making very much progress because it has been so crazy this week. Um, I have put my newsletter out for May yesterday, which meant that I um, have been doing some writing and I also um, <clears throat> like to kind of give away some stuff when I do the newsletter. So this time around, I shot a video and posted it on YouTube about what we talked about on Monday, the light bulb issue. Um, I, I did a more slow, thorough video of how to remove old light bulbs and how to um, put the machine into a proper position to help give you the best leverage for the uh, installing the new light bulb. And uh, hi, Becky from Fort Worth, Texas. My sister, my older sister, Deb, lives in East Dallas in um, Kaufman. Actually, I think the name of her city is Forney, but it's Kaufman, um, Kaufman County. Someday when they let us out of jail, I'm gonna come see everybody because my parents live there also. I gave Reagan the day off. My daughter is uh, usually is uh, watching my cameras and stuff from off off the camera, and she isn't here tonight, so that's why the dog's having a fit. Did you watch Tula? I did watch Tula Pink's tour of her personal fabrics. Can you imagine having a collection like that in your house? That's so amazing. I've never met her in person. She um, visited Seattle a few years ago um, before she was really wicked popular. And she was supposed to come to, um, she was supposed to come to a fabric shop that I taught at. And something happened that night and I couldn't get down there. And so I didn't get to meet her. But how cool would that have been? Okay. Hold on, Betty. I texted my husband. <laughs> I was totally jealous. I was totally jealous of Tula's fabric. I bought a 221 recently and the screw on the plate with the thread won't move even after oiling. Any ideas? So I think you're talking about these screws on the throat plate. Is that right, H.C. Watkins? Hawkins? Watkins? Where are you? <laughs> when am I coming back to AZ? <gasps> ah, I was supposed to be back this May, this month. Actually, it would have been last weekend, I believe, um, because our friend was um, graduating from high school and it was her final ballet performance. And with the COVID, I didn't get to come. And so now 
you guys are up around 100 and there's no way I'm coming back there until the fall. No way. Oh, this screw right here is seized up. So there's a couple things you can do um, with stuck screws, H.C. Watkins. Um, first of all, having the right tool for any job makes it easier, my husband's favorite saying. Um, and so I really like these long screwdrivers. Um, they don't have, it doesn't have to be this exact screwdriver, but a really long screwdriver is, uh, is provides extra, well, first of all, it gives you access, but it provides a little bit of extra pop when you want to unseat a screw. So what I do, uh, in addition to putting some oil on it, is I generally, first of all, I stand up on top of the machine like this and I put my fingers down at the screw so that way um, it isn't going to uh, slip out and scratch my machine. But I try to tighten it ever so ever so torque yes thank you uh ever so lightly and then i go the other way with it so I, it's a tight little tiny to righty tighty and then a lot of lefty loosey i have had some success with penetrating oil also on screws um but but the right tool if you go raid your husband's toolbox and see if you can find a really good long screwdriver that gives you a little bit of extra pop when you um, are trying to do it and get right up on top of it so you have your body weight on it. Um, sometimes if I can't get it stuck, then my husband will, you know, use man muscles and get it. <laughs> man muscles. <laughs> okay, thanks for the question. All right, what's going on here on Facebook? I have been... <sighs> it is a dry heat in Arizona, but it's still... A hundred. I actually live in Kennedale. <laughs> oh, hey, Becky, you're on. Hey, did you get my email response? I about you. I think, or I think you actually did respond to me about how you're just gonna set up another account on the new website. Oh, you live in Kennedale. Nice. How about? Oh, Rusty, Rose. I don't know why you say Rusty. She's pretty. She's not Rusty. I, someone said for the tan machine's name, Tawny. I liked Tawny. I thought that was kind of cool. It can't be Sandy because that was the other one that I sold. Um, so <laughs> it is like a convection oven, <laughs> Lisa. <laughs> for those who don't, who are, don't know me really well, we lived in Arizona for about four years. Actually, that is where Featherweight uh, Doctor got kicked off and um, about 18 months ago, my husband took a job back here in Seattle, and so it moved us home. We actually live in the Redmond, Washington area now, um, and this is home to us. Now, see, Ginger, Ginger, Lisa, I'm writing that down. What do we got? We have, we have Rusty. Rose said Rusty. I'm writing this down. Rose said Rusty. Lisa is Ginger. I like Ginger, too. Sherry is Amber. Okay, I feel like I should, like, send a prize. You know, if whatever name I pick, you guys get, like, a new pair of my earrings. Look at my new earrings I just dropped on the website. They're lightweight. They're leather. Aren't they cute? So that's what we'll do. If I pick your name, you're going to get a pair of earrings for me. G.I. Jane. <laughs> Sarah. <laughs> Desi, Carol says Desi, Butterbean, <laughs> Bridget says Butterbean, and her, she calls her Sweet Pea, that's very cute. Tansy, I like Tansy, Judith, Judith, maybe I'll have to like, these are all really good, maybe I'll have to like put all your names in a hat and just draw it that way, but Bridget, Bridget says Butterbean, Carol says Desi. Okay, I'm just making a list here. All right. So, I had kind of a big week this week. Very fun stuff for next week. So, I have a friend. Her name is Madame Askew. And she is a performer 
and a um, sewing instructor. She also does, she's a costumier, so she also does like bustles and um, corsets and stuff or like period specific costumes. And I met her last year um, at a conference that I was speaking at. It was a vintage sewing machine conference in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and it was about a year ago. Blondie, Lucy, you guys are good. Um, anyway, she, I can't do Sandy, Lisa, because the other one's name was Sandy, but you could name your Sandy. Just saying. Um, Mary P says, Blondie. Anyway, she is just kind of a, a cool gal, Kathleen. Hey, Kathleen Rogers um, says, Lucy, that was my husband's grandmother's name. I love that name, Lucille. It has to be like the formal name, not like Lucy, but like Lucille. Pebble, Zoe. <laughs> so, so, on Instagram says Pebbles. Okay. Anyway, so I met her at this conference. She was also there speaking. And we just hit it off. She does a lot of online stuff. And at the time, a year ago, I was chicken to do a lot of online stuff. Eleanor. Now, Sarah, I like Eleanor. Sarah says, Eleanor. Anyway, um, and Tawny. I got Tawny. Tawny from Lisa and Meadows. Tawny. Anyway. So she was really encouraging me to do more of this kind of stuff. You know, go do lives and do more videos and put more education out there. And um, I just wasn't ready yet. I think this quarantine has really changed a lot about my business in a really good way. Like I can't be out with all of you all in public. I can't be at workshops. I can't be on airplanes. I can't be... Um, at speaking engagements and um, and so it's forced me to do more of this kinds of things and um, honestly it makes my heart happy that I'm not just sitting here talking to myself that I have a few people who want to hear me ramble on for an hour take a sip of my seltzer and sew on my Minnie Mouse sewing machine and so I, I actually owe her and my husband both who pushed me a lot of credit for, you know, the interviews that I've been doing on Wednesdays and the Friday night sip and sews. These are kind of my favorite because it's a little bit more informal. Um, and also the Ask the Doctor series that are on Monday nights on social. Anyway, so I was, I had my last guest on last week was um, <clears throat> Lois Halleck from Clearview Design. She is into ergonomics and and making taking care of your body while you're sewing for long periods of time and she also does um i think i got desiree carol oh does <laughs> instead of desi she said desiree it's more formal these are we these are old ladies so we have to be formal with the names um anyway uh she uh, I had Lois on and we had such a good time and I was kind of considering who I was going to have on in the next couple weeks. I've got some, I'm lining up some, some other people and, um, oh good. Brittany says I love these two. Nice. Anyway, and Madam SQ immediately came to mind and she, I talked to her yesterday. She lives in Tucson and she, uh, uh, her and I had a nice conversation this week, and she is coming on on Wednesday. You guys are in for such a treat. She is going to do the whole, like, costume, the whole everything. You guys, she is hilarious. Hilarious. And she agreed to come on and let me interview her on my little tiny show. I'm I'm dying. I am absolutely dying. She is going to be, she is going to set the bar so high for any other guests that I'm going to have to up, up my up my game, I guess, because she is hilarious. So if you guys don't have it on your calendars, I know there's not much on your calendars these days, um, put Wednesday on your calendar and we're going to go Facebook at 4 p.m., Facebook and YouTube, no, Madam Askew not Madam Tanner. She's on Instagram and Facebook already. She's really big in like the steampunk 
you know, genre where they do the Comic-Con conferences and stuff. And because she's a performer. So she she's just delightful. But so Wednesday, at four o'clock Pacific Standard Time on Facebook, we are going her and I are going to chat and then and just don't. It's going to be hilarious. Don't drink something. It might come shooting out of your nose. Um, and then on for Instagram, we're going to do 4.30 Wednesday Pacific Standard Time. So Facebook land and YouTube land will be um, confined to 25 minutes because we'll have to get on Instagram on time. Clarice, Becky. I don't know if I could do... I can't put Clarice on the list. That Silence of the Land movie just freaked me out. <laughs> oh... Not Rusty. Tanya. That's better, Rose. Okay, I'm taking Rusty off because that, that that wasn't good. But I like Tanya. Like, who's that country artist? Tan Tucker. Tanya Tucker. There you go. I got it. Anyway, so please join me on Wednesday. It is going to be a hoot. A hoot. She makes me laugh. All right, more sewing, darling, less talking. Um, I had to go to Costco today. You guys know that you have to have a face mask to go into Costco. So I donned my face mask and went in there. I Don't you guys feel like masked bandits every time you walk into a store or a restaurant? Oh, that's good too, Lisa. Mabel. Mabel's good. Lisa. Lisa, you're just trying to get a free pair of earrings. Lisa and Mabel. Um, I feel like a masked bandit. I feel like wearing face masks in public before all of this would have been so like anti-societal. Like people would have given you like weird looks. Octine? Aka, Akavine? <laughs> that name's funny. Okay, I like it. Becky, I'm writing it down. <laughs> Clarice from Rudolph. Oh, okay. I thought I I heard Clarice and I thought Silence of the Lambs. <laughs> okay, so Becky. We <laughs> We're not putting Clarice down. It creeps me out. The sound of those guitars. Exactly. Exactly. Ellie, go for Eleanor if you want formal. That is my name, but I love being called Ellie. That's sweet. Okay, so Ellie gets... Sarah, you have to share with Ellie Campbell. Um, I was thinking about naming her... Agnes after my grandma my meme who taught me how to sew but <clears throat> then I realized that I have her I have meme's 201 so I really should call that one Agnes not a featherweight okay so Becky King oh Melanie we are naming the tan featherweight tonight we're making it a contest so I am writing down names and suggestions and when I name the Featherweight, whoever suggested the name first is going to get a pair, a free pair of my new earrings, my new leather earrings. We're making it a contest. All right, Carol, Martha Lee. I like that. That's very formal. Becky, did you suggest the name? Becky King. Okay. <laughs> Uh, hey, sounds of the guitar. I can't. Did you suggest one, sweetheart? I don't see it. Oh, I'll put Clarice in, but even I know it's from Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer, but I don't see that. Melanie, I already have Tawny. I have Tawny, Tansy. Lisa Meadows already said Tawny. All right. This view is a little different than, oh, Charlotte. I love that name. That's a pretty name. All right, Zoe. And I do Char Mott. 
Melba. That is an old name. I like that, Becky. I'll put Melba. All right. The view from last week was on the shores of Lake Ponderé. I was, uh, I needed to escape for a little, just a few days. So we have uh, some friends that have 30 acres up in uh, North Idaho and they have a travel trailer and we can go kind of tuck up there. And it was kind of nice. Fun, Sherry, that's good. Fun. So I, I was able to get away and I, I have been working very hard for all of my customers lately and I needed to take a weekend off and if I stayed here, I was gonna keep working. So um, I did that, I, I allowed myself a weekend off. But the view from last week's Sip and Sew was much better. We were doing, um, we were doing a review of that off-grid battery because I have from time to time, hey, I uh, I do a I get some calls from people wanting to convert their featherweights to off-grid um, sewing machines because they RV or they travel around in a motorhome and sometimes they don't have what I call shore power pebbles. I got pebbles already too. Um, Melanie Pebbles was Zoe on Instagram. Is it Zoe or Zoe? Or what's your name? <laughs> name. <laughs> Tell me. Anyway, uh, so I bought one of those Sub Zero batteries um, that the 200 one that's a lithium battery and then ran a mini on it oh your name's Carla okay Carla thank you I'm just gonna write Carla Carla um anyway and it was like beautiful the lake was like right behind me and the day was gorgeous and the only place I could find a, play, a place to tuck up was on the boat launch. So there, were <laughs> I was actually kind of laughing. All right, Melanie, you're on the board with Cor uh, Coralie. I like that. Um, anyway, the it was kind of funny because I can only imagine what those fishermen must have been thinking when they saw me sitting on the shore of the lake with this sewing machine, sewing. I bet they're like, what is that lady doing? Must have given them a good laugh. Coralie, I like that. Melanie, I like that. Cool. We're gonna be out of town next weekend also. For a few days just for the holiday weekend I think we're heading back over there so I might do something kind of fun like that again for um, for the Memorial Day weekend you like beacon Tana I think we already have Tana beacon okay Carla likes beacon All right. Hmm. Rip row. What did I do? I don't know what that is. <laughs> Hope I didn't screw up my quilt. anybody because I know some parts of the country are opening up we're not um yeah no oh Carla <laughs> no your sewing machine looked like bacon on the dock it could have I, it might have I'm, I'm sure it made quite a okay I'm gonna take bacon or beacon off of my list of potential names then um I'm sure that it made quite a spectacle and they probably weren't thrilled with the noise it was making either because it was probably scaring the fish away. <gasps> Gidget! I like that! 
Yeah, Becky and Darcy. You guys are good. Melanie. Uh, Darcy. And Melanie. Uh, Gidget. I like Gidget a lot. I know my sister in Texas is out and about because they have been let out of their houses. I'm sure, Carla, you could see my machine from the distance. There was a couple of guys like floating like maybe 50 feet off the shore. And they were just, you could tell they were just trying to figure out what I was doing on a picnic table with a red and white polka dotted machine and a battery. Sherry, I like Shelly, that's cute. I'll have to get you guys to tune in on Monday to find out what name I draw out of the hat. Shelly. Oh. <laughs> Lisa Meadow says she has a had a, a dog named Gidget, a miniature schnauzer. How cute. <laughs> you could probably see it from a distance, yes, I'm sure. Uh, where's my stuff? Oh, you're opened up in Georgia. Carla, you lucky duck. I, uh, I'm okay with, honestly, I'm not one of those people that's going to run right out and start hugging people. This has really not freaked me out. The, the whole idea of this has really given me pause to think about the types of activities that I do and what I consider essential and, and important. So even though we're supposed to be out, our governor said that more stuff will be opening up as of June 1st, I don't think I'm going to run right out and uh, and start hugging on people. <laughs> Although I miss hugging people. <laughs> um, so Kathleen Rogers said, did you make the wooden spool abacus behind you on the wall? I did not. Isn't it pretty though? I bought that at an antique store in Sandpoint on another trip, not the most recent one last weekend. And I went in there on, what did I buy? Oh, I went into the same shop um, this past weekend because they were open with my mask on. And I bought, they just have cool sewing antiques. So look at this cool thing I bought. It's a, um, it's a yardstick that collapses, but it's really old. So this was my purchase from that antique shop. Um, and what else did I get? I got my daughter a cool shelf. I bought a very cute little curio cabinet that's like this big and it has rolled antique yellow glass on it in it. And, um, I'm going to keep all of my like fancy, um, featherweight accessories in it. Like my collectible ones, like my penguin foot and stuff. Uh, I'm, so I bought the cabinet for that. But um, I told them when I was in there, because every live I do, someone asks me about this piece of art. And I told them that uh, that it was pretty popular. And they, they were all tickled that I, you know, put it on the wall behind me. Oh, Lisa, your grandfather had one. Isn't that fun? I'm not usually one for spreading quilt projects out. I like to get them done. But this one has been kind of nice. Um, I'm hoping to make a big dent on it over Memorial Day weekend. And then I would love on this Friday night sip and sew 
to do some free motion quilting for you guys on the featherweight um, because that's one of my favorite things in the world to do is to free motion on these little guys. Um, people are always really surprised how much they actually can do. And then all, you know, for the two, two ones, all you have to do is put your, cover your feed dogs up with some painter's tape, real high end notion here, ladies, you can buy it at the big box home improvement stores. And, uh, anyway, you cover your feed dogs with that and put the darning foot on that you can buy on our website and off you go. Um, that was what I used on construction site. Oh. <laughs> The abacus is what you used on construction sites. That's fun. <laughs> I had a machine get dropped off today because the lamp was bad on it. And um, it, the lady said that it was stitching but not sewing. Do you guys think you know what the problem was? Does anybody have a guess? So it was someone trying to sit here sewing with someone instead of just like it. Rose, I'm so glad you're sitting here sewing with me. So what might be the problem, ladies? Tell me. Oh, the oh, you use this on a construction site, Kathleen? Nice. I just think this is kind of cool looking. It looks like it's had some uh, some wear, haven't we all? Okay, Melanie. Next week I'll free motion for you guys on on uh, on the sip and sew. Um. Anyway, the uh, the problem with the machine will get even the most talented user, and what it was was you know when you pick up this throat plate, the needle was not in wrong, but yes, Whitney Bryce. High five for the right answer. It was that bobbin finger wasn't seated in the notch underneath the throat plate. Like I didn't even have to plug it in. As soon as I took it out and looked at it, I was like, oh dang, she's gonna be so mad. Oh, it was a carpenter's folding ruler. I didn't know that's what it was called. The needle was not in backwards. Not the timing. It was the finger not seated under the throat plate. You guys are an educated audience. I like it. Bunch of smarties on here. Um, I, it gets me. I, I'll be, you know, rolling around the shop and I'll be in a hurry and I won't be paying attention. And I'll, you know, load it up. And then put the thing down and not double check it before I screw it down. And it was just enough to knock it out. And sure enough, I'll go to sew with it and I'll be like, Urgh. so frustrating. Especially because it's so, that, the needle in backwards and the bobbin in the bobbin casing backwards are the most common things for why it'll do that. <laughs> Lisa, she said, that's why they call you the featherweight doctor. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> The one and only featherweight doctor, right, Lisa? <laughs> Actually, Andy would argue that he is also the featherweight doctor. So that's my husband. He was down here helping me rewire the switch a little bit ago. So I do have to give him a little bit of street cred. I, it's not fruit punch, Whitney. It is, do you guys know those, um, they have the spiked seltzers. They're like the Trulies and the White Claws. This is not that. It's a different one. It's a raspberry lemon one, but it's a little more tart. It's, it's, <laughs> it's almost, uh, it's almost too tart for me. It's, a, it's, you know, as, as tart as I can go, but it's really good. It's really refreshing. It's nice and sunny outside, and we're gonna barbecue some um, shrimps, uh, some prawns on the on kebabs tonight, and with some bell peppers and onions for dinner. And so I thought it sounded good with that. Hey, 
Hang on. My mother-in-law's on Facebook. Are you sipping or are you guys driving from Sholo still? These are done. What <laughs> Carol. Carol wants to know what time dinner is. <laughs> Hopefully. Fanny. Oh, that's a good one, Linda Wood. I like that one. Okay, I'm writing Linda Wood. Linda Wood on Facebook with... Oh, good. Mom's Home and Sipping. Uh, with Fanny. I like that. So just so you guys have a frame of reference, my other featherweights are called my my everyday stitcher, my two two two. Well, this is obviously Minnie Mouse. Do I even need to say that? Um, the two 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 that I use a lot is Ruby. She's very shiny and pretty. I have Mary, who's my nineteen thirty four um, school bell. Mary. I I don't have an. I didn't have a particular attachment to that name other than I looked up most popular female names 1934 and Mary was the top of the list so technically my daughter named her and then I have black side <clears throat> I don't have a name for for the black side it's just black side and then the new oh my white one my little white 1964 is um a lot of people use Pearl for the little whites and I decided to call mine opal I thought that sounded fun and then my first featherweight which is the one that started this whole dream her name is Esther and I did not name her either she came with a name her original oh Melanie Jolene I like that um, her original owner Esther J McCombs was super paranoid that someone was going to steal her sewing machine. So <clears throat> Lisa's trying to start naming my black side now. <laughs> I like Raven. That's good. <laughs> you can't have two pairs of earrings, girl. <laughs> um, anyway, so in Esther's the belly of Esther, the, the, the extension, the case, the foot pedal, it says it was engraved Esther J. McComb. So I didn't have to name Esther. Esther came with a name, which I thought was kind of fun. All right, I'm sewing my Sew in Love quilt along with you. Nice, I'm your 1934 named Melanie. My 1946 is named Scarlett. That's awesome. Thank you for joining me. I hope you're making more progress than I am. I'm doing too much talking. It happens. In school, I was... Oh, what did I do with my ruler? Oh, I got it. In school, I had that problem. My teacher said I talked too much also. <laughs> I'll take this. Shoot, I want earrings. I need to come up with a name. <laughs> Whitney, aren't you on the board? You are not on the board. I like old-fashioned names. Winner gets a new pair of my leather featherweight earrings. You can wear them <clears throat> to your couch. <laughs> you can wear them to your kitchen. As soon as we're all out of jail, you can wear them to your guild meeting or your sewing retreat or your featherweight group. I am. Um, I have a featherweight group that meets in oh olive. That's good too. Okay. Hold on. Crave Crave Craveness 1899 Crave N S 1899 on IG. Olive. I like that. 
And green is my favorite color. So olive would go really well with that. Joy, Santa Barbara quilting retreats. Joy, I like that. Okay. Millie. Mary, I already have a machine named Millie. It's my Millennium Long Arm. Uh, Grace. Whit Whitney, that's cute. Okay, Whitney is on the board with Grace. Grace. IG. Grace. Alice, I like that. H.C. Hawkins. H.C. Watkins, sorry. Watkins, Alice. And what was the other? Santa Barbara Quilting. Santa Barbara Quilting. Santa Barb Quilt is Joy. J O I. J O I. Okay, Lisa. Zero Zalero says, I'm so excited to learn how to use my featherweight quilt to quilt. Looking forward to next Friday's sip and sew. Awesome. Um, so I'm going to use, I'll, next week, what am I going to quilt? I'll have to get something to a point where I can quilt it. Everything's in construction right now. <laughs> Mom, you'll have earrings, don't worry. Um, the, uh, I will probably use one of my 221s because if you don't know this already, I already have Lucy. Lucy's on the list already. Sweet Lady Jane. Donna says, Donna. Donna. Leffler. Leffner says, Sweet Lady Jane. Um, Anyway, the um, the uh, I'll, the two two ones will also free motion quilt. The, you can't drop their feed dogs, so the two 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 you can drop the feed dogs on. So they are a little bit easier to get set up. If you're if you're curious about the setup, you could go out to my YouTube. I have a video out there. It's like seven minutes, and it is. Um, it's the setup of free motion quilting on the featherweight. So I would recommend before our sip and sew next Friday, if you have a few minutes to go out to YouTube and click on my look up, look up featherweight doctor, subscribe to my page. And then um, you'll see one of my more popular videos is me with mini in the setup of free motion quilting. Okay. So Becky King from Kennedale says my first featherweight is a 1939 also named after the original owner Clara I love that I have I also have the original oh that's awesome she has the original receipt I love when I get that which shows that she paid $108 for it and she made $3 payment each month for 36 months that is so SEW cool very cool Becky whenever I if I get a machine like from auction um, and I am able to uh, get original paperwork. Um, I always make sure I forward that on with the machine, especially if like the owner's name is with it. And if I know the owner's name, like if I purchase it from a daughter or son, I always make sure that the name stays with the machine because I think that's, I think it's important to pay, you know, respect to the first owner. In the newsletter, I have screwdrivers on sale. So if you guys have been on the fence about ordering the screwdriver set, this set of four, they are 10% off. Oh, I don't have the other. Oh, I do. And the little guy. Um, we're doing free shipping now. So there's no shipping. And if you're out of state, there's no tax. So there you go. Okay, how many do I have here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. <laughs> the Whitney, they are the best screwdrivers ever. I will agree. It's like I, it's 
like a, you're a plug or something. I didn't even ask you to say that. They are the best screwdrivers ever. Me too. All of my machines are named after the original owner who I purchased them from. That's fun. Rogue the shop dog is a little out of sorts today because my daughter is not here. They are besties. My daughter and her black lab. Rookie, you wanna come say hi? Come on. Hi, folks. Can you say hi to everybody? Can you say hi? Say hi. <laughs> It's sunny outside, so he keeps asking to go out. I um, have been doing a lot of planting lately too. Does any big gardeners on today? Um, I decided to do some herbs this year on my back deck. So I have rosemary, Italian parsley, cilantro, uh, basil, peppermint. What's the other one? That's it. I said five, right? I'm going to do one more because I have one more spot in my my beds. <clears throat> and then I'm also, I planted a big tomato plant, little cherry tomatoes. will be awesome when it heats up a little bit more. And um, I really like colorful flowering baskets, like uh, hanging baskets. So I got a couple of those and I use a lot of miracle grow with my flowers so they get really like big and beautiful and they cascade. Becky King wants to know do you have a video or a blog on the type of brands of thread that you recommend? That's a good question. Okay. Hi Annette from Kansas. Hi. Um I don't I don't have a blog. That's actually not a bad idea. I'm gonna write that down, Becky. Because there are, I do have some favorites, Becky, blog on thread. Um, I, I really do a lot of sewing, so I usually use the big, the big thread cones from Superior Thread. And I really like, um, will the rosemary and basil get huge? They don't have a lot of spot, a lot of space to get huge. Maybe I need to put them in their own, their own pots. Um, the, uh, what was I saying? I can't remember what I was saying. Someone asked me a question. Hold on. Oh, thread. Sorry, Becky. Um, so thread. So I'll usually use the superior thread in the big full size 2000 yard cones. And then I sell on the website, but I'm out right now. I have more coming this cool cone converter that sits on top. If you have a loose, um, spool pin, don't use it because it just puts weight on it. Um, but I also like Aurifil. I use quite a bit of Aurifil for piecing and for quilting also. But that's a good idea about Becky to do a, a video or a blog on threads that the featherweight likes because they are kind of fussy about that. All right, I said planted a half, planted, oh, you planted a half, so you have to bend over. Raised beds are the bomb. Mine sit on my decking rail. Uh, tomatoes and squash, nice. Thyme, oh, that's a good one, I'll do thyme. Then Google heart of garlic chicken thighs. Ooh, that sounds pretty amazing. Gotta love garlic. Um, anyway, I'm excited about some fresh herbs because I love to cook and fresh herbs will be great. Thyme is a good idea. I'm gonna, that will be the last spot in my, my pot. Oh. It's almost been an hour. Wow, time flies when you are having fun. All right, a couple more scenes here. So, if you haven't already, like us and follow us and subscribe to us. We're on all of the major 
social media platforms, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Oh, yeah, chives are good too, Clara. That's a good idea. I need another pot. <laughs> um, the newsletters go out once a month on the 15th, on or around the 15th of the month. So the one for this May just went out today. Um, my daughter, Ray, who isn't here right now, she's 17 and in college, she did an article for the um, newsletter. So it's pretty cute. Check it out. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay. Anyway. And then uh, Monday is the Ask the Doctor. I don't know what I'm talking about yet. I will have it figured out by, by Monday. But I will announce the winner of the free pair of earrings. These earrings right here. Not these ones, but the ones that look like this. Um, for the naming of the tan machine. I will announce that on Monday at, during my Ask the Doctor. 4 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Uh, right here on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. And then, you guys, put it on your calendar for Wednesday. Madam SQ is joining me for the interview. She is a performer, um, <clears throat> very British, drinks tea, is a costumier, makes bustles and corsets, very big in the steampunk movement and the Comic-Cons. And she is hilarious. So... Come ready to laugh. Come ready to laugh. So that'll be Wednesday. And then Friday, I will be in Sandpoint, Idaho again. And I'll find some beautiful picturesque background, probably Lake Ponderay again, to shoot from. So thank you so much for joining me. I, I really, it's, it's just an honor to be invited into your home and to have all of you in my home. Thanks for continuing to support me and my small business. I really appreciate it. I hope everybody has a great weekend and stay safe and stay healthy. And if you can go out, go out. But if you can't, stay home. We'll talk to you soon. Bye, Carla. We'll see you guys later. <laughs>